Hi everyone, this is Dr. C and we have How to Use PowerPoint Home Ribbon 2. Well, we've been looking at the home ribbon and now we're going to look at the center to the right side of it. We're going to look at bullets, the ordered list, better known as numbers or letters, right? Left, right, or center justify, the arrange command, and the find command. Now I've blown them up here at the bottom so you can see them very quickly. So we're going to go from left to right on these commands. Bullets. You see the red arrow pointing to the bullets and the example here on screen is using a bullet. Let's stop the presentation for a moment, highlight the bullet, and see how this looks on the home ribbon. Now to take it off, all I have to do is uncheck it. So if I click it off, you notice it no longer is golden. When I click it again, it goes golden and you see the bullet. Okay. Now I could use the drop down and select different bullets for different shapes. Okay. That's the default. Next, let's see, we'll go back to this and go to the next. We have the ordered list with numbers and letters. And you'll notice the red arrows pointing to it. So let's go take a look at that. We highlight the content and we could just drop our cursor there. You don't have to highlight the whole row. We can uncheck it or check it back on and we can also use the drop down and go to a different format. So whatever style you like for your presentation, you can use that. Okay? The default is numbers. Let's look at the next one. We have justification. This is justifying the text, which means moving it to the left, centering it on the page, or moving it to the right. And I have three arrows pointing to the three symbols that do this. So let's take a look. We'll drop our cursor here on the left, go to the home ribbon, and we can see that the left justify is highlighted. I'm going to click on center and look what happened to our text. I'll click on right and see where the left went. <laughs> it's no longer on the left, is it? So we can move it around line by line, or we could grab all of these and do them all at the same time, right? And they will be justified together, okay? So that's how you do that. Next, we have the arrange command. And right now I have an image that's falling off the side. I'm only going to this presentation style so you can see the arrange command easily enlarged with the red arrow pointing to it and it's a drop down arrow with options. So let's select our image which is hanging off the slide. We're not going to see all of it that way. And we're going to come up to the home ribbon, go to the arrange command, you see me highlighting it. And I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and you see the options. I'm going to select a line and I want to say the bottom so that the image comes up. Okay. So now it's aligned to the bottom of my slide, but it's still hanging off to the left. So I need to align it to the right. So I'm going to select Arrange, Align, Align Right. See it? And look at that. That looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> now I know it's a strange image, but it's, a, it's my 3D poster from one of the conferences. Okay, let's look at another arranged task. Let's say we had an image on the side and we had text on the left and by the way this style is called two content you know we have two things on, on the screen and um, what I'm going to do is select the text first hold down the shift key select the right hand image I'm going to go to arrange align and say top I want the top of both of these to be aligned and now I'll click somewhere else and that's how it looks. Isn't that nice? Now our last topic is find and replace. So I'm going to click the find command and I'm not going to replace anything yet because I don't know what I want to replace. But let's say I wanted to select um, thank you. Okay. And there's my slide with thank you. Right. I could replace thank you with Thank you very much, right? <laughs> Whatever I wanted to say. And let's click replace and see what happens. 
and it says it's finished searching. That's the only instance of it, the only example. Otherwise, it would have tried to replace all of them or ask me if I wanted to. This has been a quick look at the home ribbon part two. See the next video for the insert ribbon. I'm Dr. C. See you next time. Bye-bye.